Cool. All right, I'll get started. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is W. Mukherjee. Uh, I am a software engineer at Google, and I work on Tekton. And this talk is about workflows, which is sort of this new experiment that we have been running in Tekton for a little bit. So I wanted to like give like a brief overview of like what workflows is and like what kind of problems we are solving with it, et cetera, things like that. Okay. So I think you've probably heard about you know Tekton mentioned a couple of times today. Uh, so at at a very high level, Tekton is a cloud-native, uh, flexible, and powerful like framework for building CI/CD systems, uh, and it sort of consists of this like bunch of like different projects that are all sort of like loosely coupled, and they all sort of like come together, and you can like stitch them together to build like really powerful bespoke CI systems. You know, we heard earlier in the day about like how one size does not fit all, you know, etc. So like you know, we have like great examples of like folks like SolarWinds, etc., using like uh, pipelines in a combination with like chains, et cetera, to build like uh, really powerful like CI systems. Okay, so uh, this slide basically contains like you know just like the four projects that I have that happen to have their own specialized logos, but there is like definitely more projects to Tekton like results, et cetera. Uh, so you know. Uh, it's a whole, pipelines is sort of at the core of Tectons, and then you have like triggers for eventing, chains for supply chain, hub and catalog for reusable uh, and shared tasks, right? Uh, but as like someone who is new to Tekton, or even as like, you know, members of the Tekton community who have been working uh, using Tekton for a while, like the question really is like, how do you get started with all these different things? Like you have all these little like little pieces and like, you know, it would be nice if you had like a little blueprint or something that could help you out, you know? So, uh, you know, we have had some experience like, you know, uh, running Tekton ourselves as like part of the Tekton community. We use Tekton for our own CI CD. And we've also spent some time uh, talking to other, you know, users of Tekton and see how they've been using uh, it. And, you know, while people do like very interesting things on their own, there are, you know, like some similar patterns that sort of like uh, emerge out of it. Um, uh, first of all, like, you know, a lot of Tekton users tend to be like CI builders. These are, you know, the software engineers or developers who are sort of responsible for building out and maintaining your CI system. And what they end up doing is like they will, you know, run Tekton as a service and they might provide, you know, build some sort of an abstraction on top or over Tekton to like provide it to the end users so that they can only use like, you know, uh, like you know, the guided path sort of for Tekton. Um, Another sort of pattern is like common modules. And common module sounds very generic, but it is like very generic. You know, people build very different things. Some people build like specialized tasks. Others build like integration with like specialized third party systems. A really common one is like integrations with like uh, GitHub or like other source control systems for notifications and triggering. Um, source control really is, you know, like very key uh, to, uh, you know, any CI system. That's where like, you know, Specifically, like we notice a lot of GitHub, uh, GitHub apps, and like checks API usage, et cetera. So that's that's I wanted to especially highlight that. And obviously, like Tekton being a CRD, you know, residing in sort of the Kubernetes ecosystem, there is like a lot of YAML that like usually engineers tend to manage. Um, the little diagram on the right is actually uh, from Tekton's own dog fooding, like Tekton using Tekton for its own like CI CD. Uh, this came from Andrea, like one of our contributors, from like a talk we did like a couple of years back. So if that looks a little complicated, this is actually not the full picture. There's like more bits to it. So there's like you know lots of little pieces that you have to like string together, right? Um, so um, our goal with like workflows, the experiment is to like really have like sort of a blueprint for all. Uh, these projects in Tekton where you can like, you know, if you're getting started, we sort of provide like a little template for you to like uh, use uh, Tekton uh, for like most of your uh, CI use cases. You know, it's, it's gonna be impossible to like build something that, you know, is, uh, that works for everyone all the time. So we sort of hope that workflows will, you know, uh, work for some use cases, like, you know, get you like most of the way there. Like I'm thinking of people like us, the Tekton community for our own like open source CI needs. And for others, like if you're building out in, in like a more like controlled environment where you have more, you know, restrictions, compliance, whatnot, you can sort of use workflows as sort of like your uh, template or your SDK to like build things out. Uh, so what does this actually contain? So uh, first of all, you know, there's like more YAML, but this is like sort of like, uh, we are abstracting, like providing a, a place where you can declare all of your like CI end to end, not just like the pipelines part of it, but all of it. Um, the second sort of thing we provide is uh, that uh, is source control integration that is like well built in. Like we have Tekton primitives that can like do triggering 
and that can verify payloads from like GitHub and that can do notifications. But like this is sort of like an all-in-one thing that like you know sets up triggering for you, uh, provides notifications at the end of your runs all by default. Uh, there's other helpful features that are sort of like built in. So like you know things like uh, pipeline support directly from Git. Uh, concurrency support, which is like something we have noticed a bunch of people bring out, so build out. Uh, so things like, uh, you know, if, if a new commit is pushed to the same uh, pull request, you know, cancel the previous run. Or like if there's like multiple pipeline runs of the same pipeline, you know, queue them up, you know, things like that. Uh, persistent lock support, which uh, we've been, you know, like if your pods get deleted from the cluster, you still want to like retrieve the logs for later analysis, et cetera, stuff like that. Uh, simpler filters, so you don't have to you know, write CEL for doing like simple filtering stuff. Um, yeah, so that's, that's like workflows in a nutshell. Uh, the project, you know, we started out as like a proposal in 2021, and since then we've been like sort of working with like the larger Tekton community. Uh, you know, we've been working pretty closely with uh, OpenShift, Pipelines as Code, which sort of provides like, you know, like opinionated CI on top. Like we've been like Shumel and team, we've been like providing us with great feedback. Uh, and then we sort of like shifted to like, you know, construction mode. So we have been like building out this experimental project. Um, it's still pretty early days, you know, like the YAML I showed in the earlier slide is like what we are tentatively building out. It's like our first version, but there's probably like other features, et cetera, that can come later. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have a, we have a little you know working group. We have a Slack, etc., where you can come join in. Uh, because the project is so like early, uh, you know any kind of feedback that you have as like you know CI practitioners from like you know building complex CI/CD systems would be super helpful, and we would be you know very you know happy to get more feedback for features we should prioritize, like things we should build out. Uh, you know, so with the end goal, you know like. You, s you can still get started and build CI on Tekton pretty quickly and easily while still preserving like, you know, the power and flexibility that Tekton is really known for. Uh, so that's it. I think that was about five minutes. I don't know if you have time for questions, but if not, okay, I see two hands. I don't know if you have, do we have time for questions? Yeah. Okay, oh, well, uh, perfect, I think two hands. Yeah, uh, so Tekton is very like API driven. And so like the core pipelines project is really just, you know, like uh, pipelines that you can execute in Kubernetes essentially, well, or other places like, but like as like, you know, complex pipelines that you can execute. And then we have other projects like sort of a more of a plugin model, like, you know, you can like uh, mix and match whatever triggering solution you want to like fit in. We provide a triggers uh, product, but like there's like other things you can mix and match, like trigger your pipelines. Same thing for collecting results, uh, like you know, supply chain, you know, like chains and other things. Just use the public Tekton APIs yeah, to observe and sign things. Exactly, you can. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, and you know, like it, Yeah, anything you want, you can like basically like uh, yeah, a so piece of like plugins. plugins. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And there was another question. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a good question. So uh, I think uh, Argo CD. So it, it basically comes down to like what your use cases is. So like workflows, Argo workflows tends to be like a little bit more generic, while you know rollouts and Argo CD are very like opinionated versions. Uh, and our goal with like Tekton workflows is to like uh, basically provide like a paved path for like building on top of Tekton, right? So we have actually taken a look at like Flux, you know, source CRDs, etc. So those are all like ideas we consider. We may, you know, one of our experiments that we POCs that we did actually use like Flux for sort of like building some of this out. So like, yeah, we're definitely aware of everything that's going on in the system. We look at it as like a place to get like lessons from while we build it out, use it where we can. So yeah, that's that's sort of the. And then. Uh, great question. Uh, it's too early to say, but I, I would be delighted to like, you know, get that feature request once we have this up and running. And yeah, definitely a visualization layer is like, would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Anything else? All right. Thank you so much.